Hello guys, welcome to my channel Technical Tutorials. In this video, we will see how to create database uh, using XAMPP server in Windows 11 operating system. So, to create database, first uh, you have to install XAMPP server in your system. In previous video, we learned how to install XAMPP server. So, if uh, you don't have XAMPP in your system, please watch that video and install it. So, let's start. First, go to start and search for XAMPP. Then uh, you can see the XAMPP control panel. Open it. Now here we have to uh, start the two server. Uh, the first one is Apache and second one is MySQL. So click on start. So we can see uh, Apache server is started. Now let's click on MySQL. MySQL uh, also started. Now uh, to create database, uh, we have to open your browser and we have to uh, search for localhost. So if XAMPP is installed in your system, uh, whenever you are searching for localhost, you will get uh, this window. Now here we have to uh, click on PHP my admin to create database. Uh, so you can see the MySQL uh, page is uh, here. So now uh, let's see one by one. So uh, there are different tags like database, SQL, status, user account, export, import. If uh, you have previously created database, uh, so you can import uh, here. So there are different, uh, there are uh, various uh, properties which uh, MySQL or XAMPP server gives. So let's start uh, to create database. We have to click on new to create new database. Now here you can see create database, we have to uh, give name to the database. So I am giving uh, creating database for the uh, student or college uh, information. So I am creating database as student. After giving a name we have to click on create. After database create we have to uh, create one table in that. So I am uh, creating table as stud info. Stud info. And here we can give a number of columns which we have to add it uh, into uh, our table. How many columns you need in your uh, table. So I am keeping it as a 4. Uh, you can uh, increase it, decrease it. Uh, you can give uh, how many you require. Then click on create. Now you can see this window. So here uh, first attribute we have to give is name. So uh, first uh, I am giving as student name. To the my row column uh, the uh, data type uh, should be varchar in the in case of name so we are going to enter the text so we are keeping it as varchar then uh, let's give size uh, so this is our first attribute or first variable uh, next is i'm giving student roll number it should be in integer so i'm keep, keeping it as integer and giving value as a 20 then uh, let's get student address uh, so address must be in varchar so i'm giving as varchar and giving length as 40 then email id uh, let's check email id for the student and it should be uh, in varchar uh, so uh, we have uh, created four variables that is student name roll number a student address and email id we have we have given type and length for the same now we have to click on save to uh, save the database so you can see our database is created so we have created database now we have to insert value in this database so we have to click on insert tab so click on insert to uh, insert the values so First, I am giving value as student name uh, as Vera. The roll number uh, will be 20. Address uh, Maharashtra. Then email ID uh, will be Vera at the red gmail dot com. So, uh, we have created we have inserted one record name as Vera, which roll number is 20, address is Maharashtra, and uh, the email ID is vera at the rate gmail.com. Now let's click on go. 
so we can see uh, we have inserted value uh, in this table so we can see the table from here as well so you can see uh, the table which we have uh, created uh, from the student info in student table or database the student info is our table name and the columns which we have added is student name student role number uh, student address and email id so uh, in this way you can create database on uh, zam server